Welcome to Physics Class and I am Flash Isaac. Today, I will be taking you through the differences between mass and weight. Um, mass versus weight. Now, like you already know, mass is the quantity of matter in a body. Quantity of matter. Remember, we said that matter is anything that has mass and occupied space. So this is a matter, it has mass. This marker is a matter, it has mass. This board is a matter, it has mass and it's occupying this space. Now, what quantity of matter is in that body? How big is the body? How small? How compressed? What is the nature of the body? How heavy? How light is it? So that is mass. The quantity of matter in a body whereas weight is the earth pool on a body let's say this is a ball let's give it a mass of 5 kg so 5 kg is the quantity of matter in this body but weight is the earth pool on a body weight is the earth pool on a body now when you throw something up, it comes down, right? So the earth is pulling it down. The earth has force. So that force pulls a body down. So the weight of a body times the pull of the earth is uh, what makes weight. So the mass of the body times the pull of earth is what makes up weight. So the pull of earth is called gravity. So gravity or gravitational force on earth is approximately 9.8 meter per second square over time while velocity is the uh, displacement over time so g is equals this this body is 5 kg weight w is equals mass times gravity equals m times g so this body on earth is 5 kg and the gravity on earth is 9.8 meter per second square therefore the weight of this ball will be uh, 5 kg times 9.8 meter per second square 49 kilogram meter per second square so kilogram meter per second square is the same thing as newton that's it unit of newton so the four differences is mass is the quantity of matter in a body weight is the earth pool on the body mass is measured in kilogram or gram while weight is measured in kilogram meter per second square or newton mass is the same everywhere if you take an astronaut now take a look at this picture you see the astronaut right on earth and in the moon so the mass of the astronaut mass is equals 100 kg the mass is constant it doesn't change now on earth where g is equals 9.8 meter per second square the weight of the astronaut will be weight will be equals 100 kg times 9.8 meter Per second square 918 newton on the moon where gravity g is equals 1.622 meter per second square the weight of the same body of the same astronaut weight is equals 100 kg times 1.622 this will give you 162.2 newton so you see so the mass remains the same on the earth in the moon and wherever you go why weight varies depending on the gravity and when there is no gravity where gravity is equal to zero nothing pulls the body down so when you throw something up it begins to go up it begins to float and float and float and float it goes up mass is a scalar quantity it doesn't it is just it is the uh, size that matters 20 kg 30 kg 40 kg so we are concerned about the magnitude 
whereas weight is a vector quantity it has it's a force weight is a force so it has magnitude size and it has direction we can say the force is moving down you see here so this force is moving down or we are applying force this way we represent the directions with arrow so weight is a vector quantity uh, why we can measure weight a mass with chemical balance or beam balance which works based on the principle of moment we measure weight using a uh, uh, spring balance which works based on the principle of uh, Hooke's law so that's the difference between mass and weight thanks for watching check out my other videos